One of the things that I love to do wherever I may be, maybe I'm at home in Sparta, Tennessee, or maybe I'm where you live, or maybe even further. Maybe I'm walking down the streets of Singapore, maybe Orchard Road looking at the beautiful lights for the holiday season. Uh, maybe I'm traveling on the MRT or I'm flying throughout the air. One of the things that I always love to see is families. A couple of reasons why I like to see families. Maybe when I'm traveling abroad, I think of my family, my wife and my two boys. And I love to see families and I love to see dads and moms who love one another, who put God first. Right now, as I'm recording this program, it's a Monday. It's going to air much later. And I can stand here and I can think of those of you who go to the Jerome Church of Christ, or maybe the Lima Penn Congregation, or, or, or the East Side. And I can think of all of those that I've met there who, who are parents, husbands and wives, mothers and fathers. I saw recently some of you post on social media of your children. We understand that having a family is valuable. Today on Tuesday Tips, Practical Tips from Scripture, I want us to focus on the fact that families, they need to be built to be great. Before we get into that, though, I want to remind you what you can do. You can go see the folks over at the Jerong Church of Christ. Search them out on Facebook. Search Jerong Church of Christ, and you'll find them physically at 120 Boone Lay Drive. You can go to their website by searching out and going to jerongcoc.org, and there you can click on the tab, I'm New. You can see their ministries, Bible study resources, useful links, and even find a way to contact them. Maybe you want to study the Bible. Reach out and see my friends over at the Jerong Church of Christ in Singapore. As we talk about families and how we can build great families and how we can take tips from scriptures, I want to remind you, families are valuable. I know throughout our world, it seems that the view of the family, the view of the home may be changing but it doesn't have to change in our minds. When I think of families and I think about the book of Psalms, I want to think about three distinct things. Number one, the Christian couple. Number two, the wise behavior. And number three, the protection plan to help us develop and understand that we can be something great. Let's start off when thinking about the family and think about the Christian couple. Psalm 34, 3 reads this way, O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. Now I know that the direct context, and even the indirect context of this, is about all of those who can come together and they can magnify, exalt, lift up, praise the name of God. But when thinking about the Christian couple, I want us to understand that we have opportunities. We have opportunities to assemble together with the church, whether it's Bible class, worship, or any other time, we have the opportunity. And one of the things that we have the opportunity to do is to sit down together as a family, as a father and a mother and children, to spend time in worship, to spend time in devotion, building one another up. Remember what the psalmist said, Oh, let magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name, notice this, together. The Christian couple needs to exalt the name of the Lord together. Psalm 6930 says this, I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify Him with thanksgiving. Do you see the power that a couple has to build up the local church. Uh, maybe you're married and you're not a Christian and, and you want to know more about Christianity. Well, I encourage you, here are two things you can do. Number one, open a Bible. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, 
and John and get an introduction to Jesus. Read the book of Acts and see the establishment of the Lord's church. And then number two, what you can do is go see the folks over at the Drong Church of Christ and study with them about how you can make yourself better as a husband and wife. And number two, we think about the Christian couple, but number two, wise behavior. Listen to Psalm 102, too. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day that I call. Answer me speedily. Here the psalmist is petitioning God. And he is petitioning God when he fails. Don't hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. The truth is... There is not a person alive today who is perfect. The book of Hebrews in the New Testament tells us there was only one who was perfect, and that is Jesus Christ, the righteous. There are times when our behavior needs to turn to God. Psalm 22, 19, But you, O Lord, do not be far from me. My strength, hasten to help me. I want to give you wise behavior in both these passages. When we live, live close to God. And maybe I'll say it this way, be God-centric. Wherever we go, we are always near God. The truth is, God's not moving away from us. If we move away from God, we're the ones that have moved. So we have the Christian couple, we have wise behavior. That's staying close to God. Let's see number three, the protection plan. This is Psalm 101.7. He who works deceit shall not dwell within my house. He who tells lies shall not continue in my presence. May I say something very emphatic? Husbands, fathers, you be the man that you're supposed to be. I've got to be the man that I am supposed to be because if I am not, my family will fail. Ladies, may I say something to you as wives and mothers? Be the godly woman, the woman that you are supposed to be. Because if you are not, we fail. Here's the truth about families. It requires all to do their part. Here the psalmist talks about his home. And he talks about how he's not going to let deceit dwell within his house. He's not going to let lies continue in his presence. Do you know how you build a great family? You protect. You give it the protection plan that it needs. We need that today. Psalm 32, 2. Blessed is the man whom the Lord does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Do you know what we can do? We can be the people that we're supposed to be. That's a protection plan. Husbands and fathers and children being who they're supposed to be. You see, we're talking about building a great family. It starts with a Christian couple. It couples with wise behavior and it has a protection plan. And the psalmist tells us that we truly can in our lives build a great family. Don't you want to build a great family? Don't you want to take Scripture and apply it to your lives? Well, I'm Jonathan Burns, and thank you for joining me on Tuesday Tips, Practical Tips from Scripture.